Hi there and welcome to Loopy Mabel Vintage Style. My name is Jane and thank you to all my subscribers. I really do appreciate when you do subscribe to my channel. If you're brand new here, you're very welcome and please, if you like my videos and you like my vintage style, then please hit the subscribe button and that little notification bell and then you'll be kept up to date with all the videos, all the tutorials that I bring out. Now today's video is just a little um, sewing plans on what I've got planned for this month, the month of July and I just wanted to share with you the patterns that I've got and the fabrics that I'm hoping to use. So if you'd like to go and grab a coffee I shall see you back here in two minutes and I'll show you exactly what I've got planned. <laughs> This month of July well I don't know whether you use Instagram uh, but if you do I don't know whether you're aware of the hashtag that I have been following is pattern swap 2019 and the theory behind the hashtag is that if you've got any sewing patterns that you have no need for and you'd like to put them in the pattern swap you put them on Instagram with using the hashtag pattern swap 2019 and then you get other like-minded uh, dressmakers who then say please can I have that pattern so that's how it works and then obviously I can then swap my patterns and then hopefully get some different patterns in replace so that's what I did this is my first year of doing it I didn't do it last year uh, but I thought I'd have a go this year so I put four patterns in I swapped four patterns and one went to the United States, uh, two remained in England and one went to Norway. So that was like really exciting. So off they went and I then tried to see if I could get some patterns that I liked. But to start with when the hashtag first came out last month, it was like a frenzy, it really was. It had to be really quick uh, to get any patterns that came up um, because they just wet flew, they just flew out to other ladies or other dressmakers. So the first few days, I was like, "Oh, I'm never going to get anything that I want." But after a few days, it did settle down a bit, and I just kept my eye on the hashtag, and I was fortunate enough to get four patterns back. So I swapped four patterns, and I got four patterns back. So I thought I'd share with you the patterns that I got and the fabrics I'm going to use. Uh, but before that, the, the whole theory behind the pattern swap, apart from swapping patterns, was that it's, I mean, it, you don't have to, it's nothing set in stone, but behind the, the hashtag is if you can make something with one of the patterns that you got and then obviously um, put it on Instagram underneath that hashtag and then everybody can sit, show what they've made and what patterns they've swapped. So it's a little, nice little sewing community and it's a, I think it's an absolutely brilliant idea where all these patterns across the world are being swapped for free. What a great idea that is across the world and then you make your whatever you can make with it and then you post a picture. So I thought it was a really, really good idea. Um, so I'm not sure whether you're still too late to have a go at the pattern swap, but it's pattern swap 2019, the hashtag on Instagram. So if you want to go and have a look, you may still be in time. Uh, I think the deadline for having your pattern makes is sometime towards the end of July. Uh, I'm not quite sure on the date of that, so I better get cracking on what I'm going to make. I probably won't have time to do all four patterns, but I'll certainly have time to do one pattern. So I thought I'd show you what I've got and then hopefully I'd then be able to join you again in my next sewing makes with what I made. So I'll start off with what the patterns I got. So I got, um, this is the first one I got, which is a lovely... This one's called the Eden Set and it's a lovely dress pattern come top so it's um, 
like a long top with a pocket detail or you can make it into like a blouse and it looks absolutely brand new the pack, the, it's still sealed so I don't think it's ever been used so that was that one the Eden set and then the next one I got was the Mia set and this one is a gorgeous um, pattern with four different options that you could use so you can either make a dress um, or no it's not four different options sorry with two different options you can either make the dress version or like a blouse the blouse version and again this one's brand new never been opened brand new so these are all from the Simply Sewing magazine as well which is by coincidence and the next one which I really really wanted and I had to uh, wait to see if this came up again because the first time it came up I wasn't able to get it but then somebody posted it and I managed to get this one this is the Sarah shirt this is a couple of versions on this there's the long sleeved version or the short sleeved version and it's got a gorgeous Peter Pan collar and a button, the button front detail. Really love that one. I've had my eye on that one for a while. So I think this is probably the one that I'm going to make first. But I'm not sure. And then the other one that I got. This again, this is brand new. Never been opened. Again. And the last one, the fourth one, again from the sewing magazine, is the Betty Blouse. May have been, yeah, this one has been opened, but it looks in really good condition. And this one has um, got gorgeous little pin tucks down the front. I don't know whether you can see them. Really pretty pin tucks down the front. I may be able to get this one done and the Sarah shirt done because this one literally is really simple I think the sleeves are set into the pattern so there's no adding sleeves and all it has is those pin tucks at the front so that might be a, a fairly quick make so I'll show you the fabrics that I've got planned for them so for the Eden set I'm probably going to make the dress really pretty dress and I'm going to use this vintage bark cloth that I've got. I absolutely love this fabric. And I think it's roughly just under three, I think it's 2.7 metres I've got. Isn't that absolutely fabulous? Really vintage, really big, bold, floral print. And I thought that would work absolutely perfectly in that pattern. So that is what I'm going to be making with this. I got this on eBay. I think I paid four nine four say five pound uh, for 2.7 meters of vintage bark cloth. I was really lucky on this one. I always get outbid on eBay when I'm trying to get the bark cloth, but I was lucky enough to get this one. I don't know whether because. It's a bit bright, it's too bright for some people, but I absolutely love it. And can you imagine wearing this in the winter? It's got grey in it and lovely bottle greens and a lovely like Christmas colour red. So this is going to be a gorgeous winter dress. I can wear like, um, like a bottle green cardigan with it or maybe a polo neck. It's also got black in it and white in it, so it's a perfect um, pattern to mix and match with all my uh, undertops that I wear. Uh, I think that'd be absolutely perfect. So I can't wait to get started on that. And I thought five pound for two point seven meters. I think that's absolutely amazing. I was really lucky there. Um, so that is going to be on the Eden set, and I'm going to do the dress. And it's really nice. So the next pattern that I got was the Betty blouse that I showed you. Now this is obviously going to be, I think, going to be quite a quick make, as I say, because it hasn't got any sleeves to put in. The sleeves are all in, it basically looks like it's a straight up type of tee, t-shirt type of shape. And the sleeves are already part of the front and the back. So the only, I think the most detail in that 
is the lovely little pin tucks at the front. So I thought, and it asks, and the recommended fabric is cotton lawn, voile or chambray. So I thought I would have a go at using some more of my French chambray, which is in this blue polka dot. I thought that might look quite pretty. Uh, but yeah, so I thought I would use this chambray. So I shall show you the chambray. Polka dot, really lovely old fashioned blue. Hope you can see that okay. So that's what that one's going to be. So if I do get a chance to do a second top for the pattern swap, I shall be doing this one, the Betty blouse. So that should be fairly quick to make. And I've got lots of this chambray. And um, I'm, I am hoping to list this in list the, the chambres in my new shop that I've got at, at loopymablecrochet.com. I haven't got them listed yet um, because lots of people have asked me where did I get the chambray from, and I have got plenty that I could actually sell on in my shop. So I will be adding these to loopymablecrochet.com, the shop section. Uh, hopefully in the next week or so so if you did like this fabric and you'd like to maybe purchase some yourself I will list it too but in the meantime though if you would like some of the chambray you can just message me in the box below and I can always you know if you wanted to buy some and I can always send you a PayPal invoice and we can do it that way and if I haven't got it in the shop in time but yeah I will be listing it in the shop so that's the chambray with the Betty blouse obviously you know plans can go out the window so hopefully I can stick to my plans but I will definitely be doing one blouse one blouse definitely which is going to be hopefully the Sarah shirt I am I have got my heart set on making this one I love the Peter Pan collar and all those buttons down the front I think I'm probably going to make the short sleeve version which is the on the back the short sleeve version and the fabric I've chose for this one is this gorgeous ditzy ditzy fabric I just think it's going to look really vintage really old-fashioned lots of ditzy prints going on and I'm going to try and find some really pretty buttons to go down the front and obviously it's got that gorgeous Peter Pan collar which I absolutely love I did um, a crochet tutorial not so long I think it was my last video on how to do a crochet Peter Pan collar because I absolutely love the Peter Pan collar and um, so this one's actually got it built into the blouse but yeah I do have the crochet pattern for the Peter Pan which is one obviously you can just pop on top if you've got a round plain neck blouse or a plain neck jumper you can put the Peter Pan crochet collar on the top um, so I do like the Peter Pan collar this is what I'm planning to do for the pattern swap 2019 so this is the one so hopefully I'll share with you my um, finished product my finished blouse and obviously I'll share it on Instagram and I'll also share with you here on my channel as well all the things that I did get made this month of July hopefully it'll definitely be this one and hopefully the Betty blouse and if I'm really really lucky and I'm really really good um, hopefully that bark cloth on the Eden set the dress on there but you know plans plans never go to plan so but this is definitely going to be the one I am making for the pan swap so watch this space with that one and if I am really fortunate and I do manage to get all my sewing done without any any problems you know I'm sewing machine working and my overlocking working and no no power cuts or anything like that if I do really really well and get them all made I'm hoping to finish off with this pretty blouse and yeah so there's options in the sleeves you can go for the flared sleeve or the, the flared sleeve there or the fluted sleeve that's in the pattern I'm not sure which one I'm going to go for and again this one hasn't been used and the fabric and I have picked this one I'm not even sure whether it would work this is a hundred percent linen and it's so pretty it's got like um, a paisley paisley um, pink and a tiny tiny touch of grey top leaves so this might not work 
because this is 100% um, this is 100% linen. I'm not sure, but we shall see. So they're the four that I've got planned on making, and obviously I will share my uh, progress with you at the end of uh, this month, towards the end of this month, and hopefully I will have at least one definitely one made and hopefully the Betty blouse too so that'll be two two makes I'll be able to share with you so I'm quite excited and if I can get that bark cloth one made as well that would be the cherry on the cake I'll just show you that bark cloth again because I absolutely love 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 this fabric I know it's quite bright but it's just so vintage or fashioned and in the winter with a nice bottle green cardigan and maybe some tights and my boots I think it's going to be really lovely so hopefully I'll get this one made but this may be in August so yeah so they are my four patterns that I was fortunate to get in the pattern swap 2019 obviously this is the one I'm going to do for the challenge well it's not a challenge but this is the one I'm going to do for that hashtag and hopefully maybe get this one done next and then we shall see about the other two um, but I thought I'd share with you what I've got planned this month um, if you like my patterns or if you've got any thoughts on my patterns or you want to ask me anything about the hashtag uh, pattern swap or anything like that just pop a comment in the box below and I will get back to you I've got a few more tutorials planned I've got a couple of crochet tutorials planned I've got a few patterns on my design I've got crochet bunting coming soon um, I've just had the, added the PDF pattern for my lacy neck shawl which is now listed in my new shop so you can get that too and obviously there's a tutorial on my channel that you can watch if you wanted to uh, have a go to because it's really simple but how pretty is it I'm wearing it today so ho hope you like this video on what I'm going to make this month and if you did please don't forget to give me that lovely thumbs up and if you haven't already please don't forget to hit the subscribe button uh, but as I always say, please take care and until the next time, happy sewing! Mm -hmm.